In this DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'd like us to talk about enhanced subtitles that were availed in DaVinci Resolve 18 and specifically focus on creating regions to support multiple simultaneous captions per track and set individual presets and text positions when indicating different speakers. Uh, but more or less what I want to focus on is the capabilities that we have with this. Now, let's hop on into DaVinci Resolve 18 and let's create a new project and call it whatever subtitles create uh, just basic interface I'll just go to the edit tab here and then I can just drag and drop the video that I want to work on and then uh, we can say change or whatever and then we can just drag and drop this one here or you can just drag your media right inside here we have our video now and this process is more or less the reason why it needs a change is because it feels more or less like a manual process uh, and yes it is because it's not possible to import or uh, import SRT subtitles of different languages in the regions that you create so let's add a new subtitle so we can just right click on this and then click on add subtitle track so we have our subtitle track there and then if you wanted to add your subtitles if I click on this subtitle track you'll see the caption option here and you can click on create caption and if you do that a block appears for you to begin typing up your subtitles pretty awesome pretty basic now let's delete this particular uh, subtitle because we want to create a region and in DaVinci Resolve 18 you can create up to four regions per subtitle so uh, let's do this when you're in the uh, subtitle track just right click and then click on add subtitle region the other downside to this process is that if i click on this it's not possible to clearly see the demarcation of where read that particular region one is going to be click on add region and you it may not be visible but if i click on this you think that something is not happening and you can look at this side but if i click above here you'll see timeline r1 so we have a subtitle R1 there. If I right click again and add subtitle region, an R2 region is going to be created it's somewhere here. Uh, it should be somewhere. Let's see, R2 is somewhere here. A subtitle 1, R1, R2. It's not clearly visible where they are, and you may think that nothing is happening. So if I can just right click, add subtitle. So this is going to be added there. Let's click here add subtitle this goes to uh, r2 this r1 and then if i click here on this particular layer or region per se add subtitle so you already have three subtitles here so if this uh, subtitle is in english uh, let's just double click on this and then just change this uh, english you can just come to this French, German. So, uh, if we can actually just now bring everything down here. Uh, now you'll notice that they are different options here now overlap. So you can style each subtitle individually. So we can maybe play on the Y. Let's say you wanted the English to be a little bit at the bottom, and then come to the French. Uh, bring it down as well. And then we can change the color to maybe something like a red. That's okay. And then for the German to be something else, uh, but hopefully something visible, a green. That's okay. And then the English one to be something else, uh, maybe something like an orange. So we now have the three subtitles here. Now, uh, those are some of how you can add multiple languages, but this is more of a manual process and for example I have subtitles in SRT format that are in different uh, That are the same subtitle file, but different languages. It would be awesome if we could actually just Hold this particular subtitle and just drag it to that particular layer Let's just drag that there So it's it's right inside there we can just come here and it's going to be available let's see if it works on the other layers let us see 
but I don't think it works. It doesn't work. It actually replaces the default or the, the bottom layer that is the main subtitle layer. And then we have the R1, the R2. And if you actually right click again here, or actually uh, just come up, let's pull everything up slightly. Uh, right click, just right click, add subtitle region. The fourth region is up here, or the R3 so that you can have at least four subtitles now if i can just do this and subtitle uh, we now have four subtitles up there uh, for us to work on uh, call it whatever you want fourth layer uh, of subtitle so if you're up to just chopping up the video and adding uh, the subtitles manually knock yourself out uh, but i feel that the folks at DaVinci can do this a little bit better by allowing us to just import already timed SRT subtitles to the different regions or more or less what I call them like layers uh, so that you can actually add multiple subtitles and then style them the way you want in instead of having to retype all that content again. Uh, but basically it's over to DaVinci uh, on how they can make uh, or create uh, these regions or make them support SRT subtitles that are already timed uh, to make this particular experience a little bit better especially in supporting multilingual subtitles so that's how you can create regions uh, in DaVinci Resolve for your subtitles and you can add up to four layers with the latest version of DaVinci Resolve DaVinci Resolve 18 uh, that's it from me my name is David and until next time stay safe and never stop learning thank you so much for watching